JDP Gaming here, presenting my third episode for my Coventry career mode. In today's episode, we're going to do a couple of transfers, hopefully some coming in, some going out, and also kick off the season with our first game. Right, immediately we get in a... Okay, a couple of um, emails, so Steam Image is saying they're not interested in selling basically Jones has joined recently so they won't be discussing his availability that's okay Sully Kai Kai they want in the region of 1.2 right but we can see if we can bring that down to 800 and then also for Chris Commons of Celtic I mean I don't know if he's worth it to be honest with you medium low work rate I mean Again, I'll put in another 800. So, you know, see what they say. I mean, he's an important first team. So, yeah, but we'll see what they come back with. A couple more emails back. So, Swansea have accepted our Oliver McBurney lo um, loan. So, we'll, you know, hang on. We'll just have a look at a couple of uh, transfers before that. Um, West Brom are basically still deciding on whether or not to for me to loan Lecco. Okay, so Burton are interested in Haynes, who I've included in the deal for Damien McCoy, but they also want 715k as well. Okay, well, how much is Haynes? He's 250. Well, that brings it up. The both values sort of bring it up to 600k, so. They may go for it, but I don't know. So, Reading have accepted the loan deal for Jonathan Bond. And Middlesbrough haven't accepted the loan offer because they're not interested in loaning Constantopoulos out. Okay, so that's fine. So, we've just got Oliver McBurney and Jonathan Bond, who I'm just going to leave for, for now. Those two are going to be pre-contract expiry signings in January. An inquirer about Donnell Henry, same with No Jones, he can go. Okay, so Hamza Chowdhury, obviously we're going to inquire about him, otherwise we're just getting him on loan. Regarding other strikers, um, Donaldson. I could approach Birmingham to loan him, to, to loan him in for a year. He's uh, always an important, important first team. Okay. Don't have enough wage. Give us a second. There we go. Right, now we can sort of look to uh, other players in our shortlist and see if we can give them a loan offer. My first example being Clayton Donaldson. So we're looking to approach to loan him for one year. See what they say when they come back. Um, other than that, you know, we'll just see what everyone comes back with and uh, just leave it as that. Okay, we've got a transfer offer for Lee Burge. Um, again, I'm going to ask for 200k. Too little, to be honest. You, to be honest with you. So, Watford have accepted my transfer offer for Renegi for 250k. Right, if he wants to come to me, he's going to take have to take a bit of a pay cut. Like sort of half of what he half of what he owns, you know exactly. Um, Quezzi Appia, probably the same case with him. We'll see what he says to an eight and a half k contract. Five years, crucial first team, and see what he says to that. Uh, okay, so Villa don't want him to loan. Don't want to loan him to. A rival team. I didn't know we were a rival team. Okay, so that's a bit of annoying, so we'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, get rid of those two. Hamza Chowdhury, they have no interest in allowing him. Oh, yeah, they're my main rival. Okay, so that's probably not going to work. So, West Ham have said they want just under a million from Don Donnell Henry. Again, 32k wages. That's I can't. 
I can't afford that, so... Oh, hang on. We can get rid of him. Hamza Chowdhury. Yeah, we can get rid of that Emil too. Um... I'll give it a few more days of those two again. Got a couple more. So... It's too little for Sully Kai Kai. Um, I put in 800k. Honestly, I think his wages are too high, so I don't think... I think I've been priced out of that purchase. Um, Liverpool have accepted my offer for Conor Masterson. And I can offer him the 4.7, but I'm going to go for a, a 3k contract and see what he says to that. Five years and important. So, Man City, basically, they're deciding whether or not to loan him to me yet. So, you know, that that will wait for a second. Okay. Um, Burnley have rejected my loan to buy offer for Nick Pope. Okay, so Burnley don't want to sell him. I mean, they'll probably let me loan him. But we have... If we want to loan someone, it will be Jonathan Bond. Um, you know what I've decided? I'm just going to bring in those two. Jonathan Bond, first signing, and Oliver McBurney, our second signing. Birmingham are not looking to loan out Donaldson, so that won't be happening. Too low for Chris Commons. I think I've been priced out of that one. Connor Randall. They want 180. You're seriously arguing with me over Connor Randall. Yeah, 140. 140. I've got. I've gone up 20k for Connor Randall. So we can now delete that one. So after we've okay, so West Brom have allowed Leco to join me, and then purchase to, and then the option to purchase for a million. So we'll bring him in straight away. He's going to be a very good player, Jonathan Leco. He really is. And Burton have accepted my Haynes plus 350k. So he wants 3.2k. I can give him that. Actually, you know what? I'll give him a free k wage. Um, he can have four years, and again, important. After reconsideration, I think I'm actually Vernon, who's on loan from Derby. He's 21, he's got 50, and he's 51 rated. I'm, I'm not going to use him, and I've just brought in Leco and McBurney, so I think I'm going to terminate his loan. Oh, and Quezzi Appiah has accepted his deal, so we're going to actually accept. We're going to bring in Quezzi Appiah, so now Quezzi Appiah's come in. Do a bit of training now, just in between our transfer, just in the transfer window between purchases. Hopefully, we can get a bit more growth on these players. Kelly Evans has gone up, and so has Harris. So both gone up to 61 now. That's good, good growth. So Exeter have reviewed it and said basically 160 is the most they're going to offer me. You know what? I'll come down, meet in the middle, do his base value, which is 180k. See what they say to that. Um, Reneggi's countered offered at 25k worth of wage. Honestly, if he wants that much, he shouldn't be coming to Coventry, so no. Aha, and City have allowed Angus Gunn to come and join us on loan. So we'll bring him in, accept the offer, and bring him in. Reese Charles Cook. Okay, Colchester want him. So, yep, he's going out for a year. Hopefully he can get some growth out there and get some game time with Colchester. Okay, so McCory... McCory's rejected it because our l the the league we're in is not prestigious enough for him, so that's not going to happen. You're right. After I've uh, managed my wage budget and my transfer budget, I'm uh, able to give him the wage he wants. However, I still don't think four points. I think I can get him on a smaller contract, so if we'll go four k this time. Five years, an important first team player. See what he says to that. Connor Randall off has been accepted. So we'll see, we'll give him a contract now. He wants 7k. Okay, if he wants that much, actually, I, I think I'll pull out of the deal. But we'll see if he wants, see if 3k is enough and a important first team role. Extra is sticking with 160k for Lee Burge. And you know what, I need some money, so bye-bye Lee Burge. Again, Marston's not happy. I'll just give him the 4.7 he wants. Four years, important first team. 
Hopefully he'll accept that and we'll bring him in. So Lee Burge has gone to Exeter. 110k has been, uh, 10k has been added to our transfer budget. That's good. Marston has accepted his contract too. So we'll bring him in. And if Randall accepts the uh, his wage, then he'll probably be my last signing in this transfer window. Randall, again, he wants 7k. That's not going to happen. 4k at the most. And then we'll just go from there. Willis's returns, however, I don't think he'll be able to play in the first game of the season, which is a bit unfortunate, but we've got players to cover him. Connor Randall still hasn't accepted the offer. He's not happy with what I'm offering. 4.7, I said, was the... Look, my final one is 5. I know I keep saying final, final, but this is my last one. Doesn't accept this. Put him to one side. And that'll be it for me in this transfer window, probably, unless anybody else exciting pops up. Anyway, putting Randall to one side, we have our first game of the season versus Oxford United now. So let's jump into this game. So here we are, first game of the season. Oxford, uh, We're at Oxford United, the Cassam Stadium ground in League One. Hopefully we can pick up a few points. So it's a player debut for Jonathan Bond. I've gone, oh, I've gone for him over um, Angus Gunn for this game, just because I signed Bond before Gunn, so I just thought I'd give Bond the first game of the season. Right, okay, unfortunately the lineups have been skipped, so just to run through a couple of things, I've chosen two game Beaven to start up my to start as the partnership up top. I've gone with Harris, um, Clark and Turnbull as my back three. Harris has been very good with player growth and training, so I thought I'd give him a start at centre back. Then my wing backs are Kelly Evans and Stokes. And then obviously I've got Rose and Riley in the centre mid roles and Limeris as my cam. Playing it down this Right hand side of the pitch now, where there's the space. The Clark's having to come over. Oh, bit of a hard cross. Riley's got it. Oh, good first touch. I can't get to Rose. Here's a shot. Oh, oh god damn it. And we've conceded from a long shot. Didn't close him down quick enough. And they lead 1 0. Have a look at the goal again. Poor defending net. I mean, I, and then I couldn't select the right player to get over to him quick enough, and they've just had a shot, and it's gone in, unfortunately. Bad start, but hopefully we can respond quickly. Again, wh whipping another ball in. Edge of box run by Stokes, who gets completely underneath the ball and miles over the crossbar. Lovely. Rose over to Kelly Evans. Pings it back in the middle to Lameresh. To Riley, he puts up the pitch to Beaven. Can he hold the defender off? I oh, have a shot. It's a lame shot. It's out for a um, goal kick. Sorry. I've just um, just made a half time switch. Taken off Marcus Tudgay for Oliver McBurney. Just feel like I need a bit of a height up front. So McBurney's on the pitch, and hopefully he can do something. He got on into the box. Has a short first time shot. Bond does well to save it for a corner. Down for Kelly, Kelly Evans again. To McBurney, who's in space. Touch, shot, deflected, corner. Put it, pinging it back post. Someone's there. Oh, keeper got to it. First time volley from Turnbull. Strain to keep his hands. So, so far, the 5 2 3 1 has really not given me that many options. So, maybe I have to might reevaluate my formation. But I'm going to stick with it for a couple of matches. Oh, another long shot. Oh, just wide. Corner or goal kick? Corner. Lovely. So, whips in again, Riley. Who's... Oh, too hard from Clark. Got space down this right-hand side. Turnbull comes in. Smack it up the pitch. We need to get this. We need to get the header. We need to get that header. We got it somehow. No, poor, poor touch by McBurney. And in my attempt... Oh. So, the game's ended 1-0. Unfortunately, we, we, I don't think we tested that keeper once. We just didn't create anything. And it's ended 1-0 to Oxford. Right, so Conor Randall has rejected my wage offer once again. So I'm calling it a day for signing Randall. Our next game now is Norwich away in the AFL Cup. I'm not too interested in the AFL Cup. I mean, it's not been set in my objectives. But that game is for another day. For the, this episode, I'm done with. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave a like. Any comments are welcome. And if you want to see more, then please always subscribe. Thank you all for watching. See ya!